Hi everybody, Kurt at Electronic Solutions again. This is segment three. This time we'll be discussing uh, mag pickups. Mag pickup is a signal generator. How this works, there's a bobbin inside of here. Uh, it's got a magnetic pole and there's a real fine copper wire, enameled copper wire in this bobbin. When Let's say this is your flywheel. Uh, it's not the right configuration, but I don't have a flywheel here to show, but this is the configuration. Your mag pickup is within 10 or 20 thousandths away from the ring gear on your flywheel. As these teeth pass by, these steel teeth, and you can see that real close up there, as they pass by that, at high speed, it generates electricity, AC electricity, up to 16 to 18 volts is all this puts out. Real low current, milliamps, hardly nothing. So, uh, if your engine was running at, let's say, 100 and, or, or I'm going to back up a little bit. Let's say there's 159 teeth on your flywheel and you're running at uh, 1,000 RPM, you can do the math and figure that out. It's 15 uh, 1,900 pulses uh, a minute that, that it's running. And so this thing generates a signal very high frequency. And so uh, the main problem is either they get out of calibration too far away and they're supposed to be within 10 or 20 thousandths away. You'll have to look in the data sheets. I'm not going to be quoted on it exactly. Uh, the other thing, every time you start the engine, little metal fragments happen. These uh, magnetic uh, pickups seem to pick up those fragments inside of that bell housing and uh, once it gets contaminated with enough of those little fragments it can't read out or it shorts the point out. The other problem is people thread these in and they get damaged because it hits the flywheel or I think due to welding or jump starting or for whatever reason that real fine wire in here pops like a fuse. And when it pops like a fuse, this thing's an open circuit. It can't generate electricity anymore. And so I think welding, uh, I think welding has uh, vibration, it has a big key to this. So nobody, I don't think, has an answer for it because we don't know what makes them go bad. But if you want to test it and you're not sure, you need a meter. You need to put it on the ohm scale. And most of these probes all read about the same thing. I'm going to check my probes first for zero. Okay, 0.3. So, uh, checking this one, this one reads 136.3 ohms. So that's a good sensor. Uh, I've seen them 180, but if you have readings other than that, way low or way high, then you know this is open like a fuse. And uh, how these are wired in, if you're wondering, one of these would go to the chassis. So you could run a wire onto here. Uh, butt splice it or solder it and you could put a ring terminal on it put it on a good unpainted surface to the ground or go directly to the negative side of the battery I would put uh, some kind of a uh, butt connector on it then if you're going to do that the other wire goes to our tachometer which is the white wire so one goes to ground one goes to our tachometer put this into the proper specified setting lock down the lock nut and you're good to go set the tachometer for how many teeth are on the gear and you'll get the right reading. Thanks. Bye.